Hey everyone, it's Becky Below here, Creative Memories Advisor from Newport News, Virginia. And I have um, a tip for you today that um, basically I'm going to kind of expand on what we did last week um, to give you yet another idea using that really crazy simple technique. So if you missed last week, no big deal. You'll be able to um, learn that tip and more today. So anyways, I thank you for tuning in. Uh, we have had another new product release um, just this week. Um, and for any of you that have some home improvements going on or um, you're trying to, you know, maybe you're you're building a new house or flipping a house or, you know, um, have maybe a child that is doing that or maybe you're, you know, redoing, you know, painting all the rooms. My gosh, this is the perfect collection for you and it's on sale. As always, with our brand new collections, you can always get a great deal if you buy them first um, for the like the first two weeks. So anyways, um, you want to check that out. Um, you save a, a really nice chunk by getting it now. I don't have it to show you because I just ordered them myself. I'm waiting for them. What I do have to show you is what came in for me from last week. And uh, I didn't know if you all knew about these. Um, oh, why is this hard for you to see? Okay. Um, so anyways, it's this polka dotted uh it's a medium tote we've had these medium pods they they sell out so super quickly um that it seems like we never have them for long and now that they've added the polka dots i don't have a lot of hope that they're gonna last too long this way this time but you can see how narrow they are what i like about this is it has plenty of room to store all my paper colors and what comes with this if you get it um is these um dividers and they're colored so in other words my red paper goes behind the red tab all my orange papers go behind the orange tab and so forth so it's very easy to find what you're looking for so anyways um, not only do you get the tabs and the pod but you also get one sheet of our basic colors to start you off so this makes a great gift for somebody that's just beginning to scrapbook um it's so fun isn't it so it kind of goes with this year's theme, um, this live with all the Roy G. Biv colors. Um, it just kind of goes along with that, that theme that you're going to see this year. So anyways, I love this. I hope that you'll love this. Um, one thing that you're going to really like about this is um, before I was storing this in my rolling cart, all my paper and, and my rolling cart. And you know what? I'm still going to take this and put it in my rolling cart to transport. But what I like to do when I'm at my crops, even though I have paper supplies here at my house, I hate it when I'm in my office and I'm out of a piece of color. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like you're trying to do a double page spread and you need a piece of blue and you're totally out of blue. And unlike me, who I can just go to my, my inventory and grab a piece of blue, you can't be able to do that so easily. So what I really like about that, for those of you that come out to visit your advisor, uh, maybe you go to her house, maybe you are at a crop. You can actually take this with you. It's not even heavy. So you can take it with you. And if you have a lot, a lot of paper, you don't really need a lot, a lot of paper to go crop somewhere, right? You know, if you have a pack of each color, you're you're golden. You know, you're going to be perfect, even even maybe less. So um, what I'm saying is this is this is easy to move. So if you were going to go to an open house at your advisor's house, or if you were going to go to a crop, you could take this walk over to the paper files and look to see what you're missing and just go ahead and restock. So love this. It's $48 for the bundle while supplies last. And while you're in there, um, they've extended some promotions of things that were um, supposed to end on Friday. Um, so you may want to, instead of just getting one thing, go ahead and get some things you've been putting off and, and save some money. So I wanted to share that before I got started. So um, let's go ahead and I'm going to share my screen. Second, there we go. So, and if you hear a little whining, it's not me; it's my dog. He's he's having a nervous moment because um, somebody came over to the house to look at my computer, and now he's nervous. My little hokey is so nervous. So last week, you all saw me um, build this, and I hope you love it. Um, Oh, wait, I guess it was like this because the title doesn't work that way, does it? Okay, so super cute idea. And then I started, this is using the new This Life collection and the Roy G. Biff 
colors. And then I started um, another one using the Adventure Park line, showing you that, let me go back. Um, because on this one, I did the, the squirby borders on the side. I wanted to show you that you could change the look by putting the squirby border at different places on your page and changing the, the width of it. So this was the second one that I made. Um, with Adventure Park using the same idea, okay? So I actually finished it. I know I didn't finish it in front of you last week because um, I couldn't find half my stuff. Imagine that, but um, there's the second idea. So today we are going to expand on this concept a little bit. And let's see here. I am going to use this life. And I have pulled out this life is a very robust collection with all kinds of goodies. Um, I am going to use my decorative trimmer and uh, like we did last week, I am going to make sure that my prints are um, the same direction. This looks really good to me, right? Uh, then I'm going to fold them together. All right. Last week, um, somebody um, said, why are you using your trimmer upside down? And upside down <laughs> for me means when your ruler is on the other side. And last week I indeed was using it upside down. I was using it like this. And I tend to do that. I tend to cut with this hand. So um, that is why I was doing it. Um, however, whoever pointed that out, um, I had for borders and everything because I was cutting upside down. So kind of keep that in mind when you're using that, that the, it's cutting here, not here. If we cut, if we have it the right side up, it's cutting here and here, okay? So you can see see the cut groove. So I wanted to point that out. Um, I didn't want anybody wondering why I do things the way I do. I'm just kind of crazy, I guess. But today, I'm not going to use this one. I'm going to use this one. So it is where it is. I like it on the right side for me. Um, reminder, because this absolutely will not work the way you want it if you do not fold the, the, the matching colors together like this. If it's a cardstock, it doesn't really matter. I may not want to cut two pieces of cardstock with this tool at the same time, though, unless it's the thinner. All right. And then you decide on how thick you want this to be. I'm going to go um, here. Think about this for a second. You know. Yes. All right, and I'm gonna do a cut. And the reason we're cutting at the same time is because it's very hard to measure when you're measuring tools are underneath, right? Um, and this way we don't really have to measure, which is my preference. Um, that way you can't goof, you're cutting them both at the same time. All right, then I'm gonna make sure that these are firmly together just like we did last week. And I'm gonna slide it out. I'm gonna slide it out a specific amount so that you can follow along. I'm going to go to the last um, the last uh, line on here. So there's this line and then there's the edge. So I'm lining up all of my humps to that last line. That way I can guarantee that this is a straight cut. All right. So we got that. All right. Now I'm going to either build directly into my album or onto a color. Um, so I'm going to build onto a color because that's what I like to do. Sorry about my dog. I don't know if you can even hear him. It's so distracting to me, but hopefully it's not so distracting to you. All right. Ooh, I lost my focus. I hope it hasn't been out of focus for a long time. Let's see if I can fix it. All right, um, so I am going to do this, okay, and I, while I'm at it, while I'm at it, just for a little added fun fun, let's fold it back together um, so that matching sides are facing each other. So it doesn't really mean the prints have to be on top of each other. Your matching sides have to be facing each other, and I'm going to see... If my trimmer is anywhere to be found, here we go. 
And I am going to change my blade out. Remember that our trimmers have, there's like eight different blades that you can mess around with. Um, I'm going to do Victorian for the fun of it. And I'm just going to cut off my sample page. I didn't do this. This was kind of an afterthought. I'm going to go to about the, uh, let's do about three quarters of an inch. Three quarters of an inch. And then I'm going to cut out a half an inch. So I did three quarters and a half. Your half mark is at the first line on the right, on the other side of your mat strip. That'll give you your, your half inch, okay? And I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this aside. I don't think we're going to use that. <laughs> I might change my mind, but I don't think I'm going to. <laughs> and um, because I didn't do that on the other page, this is really just all kind of guessing. <laughs> all right, so we're going to fold this back open oh. like we had it. And then, um, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna do this because it makes it look hard, doesn't it? When you see that that border, it, makes it look like we went to a lot of burnt. Really, we just cut something off, and um, and then it pulls the blue in. Uh, another thing you could do if you prefer is you could put your hearts up. Let's, let's do that. Hearts up. You can do either though. I don't know. Now my dog is barking. <laughs> Lucky us. All right. So what we taught last week was to take these pieces that you cut right. out and put them in the space. I think I probably would have done this last week. Put that one there. You find a mix and match. Plus we're flipping and flopping. So this piece may have really belonged to this piece, which is why it's really important that you cut it at the same time. And then last week, we put these back in the holes. Remember that? Fit perfectly. This week, we're going to do it a little bit different. What we're going to do this time is we're going to flip this piece and put it like this for a totally different look. So let's go ahead and stick that down. In fact, I'm going to stick all of it down. I like it. Sometimes that happens that I really, really like it right when I do it. I'm going to do a little bit of blue poking out there to make it look, uh, I don't know, it just looks pretty, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, and so we are putting it this way. Doesn't that look like we did something really tricky and hard? All right, and then you also can put this guy back if you want. Do you like it like that? Let's do it. Let's go crazy today. You can put this over here too, somewhere else. All kinds of places to put it. I am going to put it right back on here. I love that, don't you? All right. This paper I'm working with, I think I already told you, but I want to remind you, brand new collection. They have extended uh, the, your opportunity to get it at a discount. So if you have not gotten this collection yet, I highly recommend you do. You are going to like this a lot. It's extremely easy to work with. Your photos are just going to pop on it. If you like bright colors, that is. All right. And then we're going to put this guy back in. And don't panic, it'll fit one way and not the other. Oops, 
I want this to go under. So it is under. It looked like it wasn't. Butamus. All right. Um, and then we're going to add, um, let's see. I'm going to grab some mats. This this pack did come with a, a set of mats. Definitely like that one. Because that brings in the hearts, right? I'm going to use this one too. Whenever I have these mats that have the middle, like I'm not going to use this for a journal box because I'm going to use this for a journal box. So I don't need that white panel there and I could use it for something else. So I'm going to cut it out. I know you've seen me do this. So I'm going to do it quickly. I'm just going to leave the, the, the frame. That's all I need, right? Don't forget that your tool has these little crosshairs so that you can cut exactly where you want. I'm just going to cut off. This is just such um, precision um, to make sure I don't have any white on my mat. It's getting just the green. And um, these have little, um, they have little, uh, what do you call it? Um, crosshairs on the sides. I'm matching up the crosshair on the sides with the green here. On the top and on the bottom. Yeah. Oh, man. Bam. That's a Victorian blade. Were y'all like, don't use the Victorian blade. I didn't mean to do that. So let's rotate. Hopefully it won't be too obvious. So let's make sure it's exactly where we want it. Um, I had somebody tell me at a beginner class the other day um, that they didn't have these crosshairs on their trimmer. And um, if if you've never seen your crosshairs on your trimmer, let me tell you where they are. They're They're up here. And that's designed that way on purpose so that when you're cutting, it's not in your way ever. But when you need it, it's going to be under there. You just kind of grab your fingernail and pull it out. So I just want to make sure that is on the line all the way down. So do it this way. Do it again. I'm just doing the same thing over and over again. Just cutting that off. One more side, and that way I can save this for later use instead of it being covered up by nothing. Your photo is going to cover it up, and it's just dead space, so why not? All right, so now we'll have one with one jagged edge. <laughs> I should have just kept cutting with it. Oh, because it's still a jacket, but oh well, you're, you're going to get the idea. Nobody, and, and then this one, you can see, it's still a great piece to use for something else. All right, so I did that. I'm going to go ahead and cut a journal box. I'm going to decide whether it's going to be vertical or horizontal in a minute. I think I'm going to um, add maybe a little bit of blue to this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See if I have used all my blue. No, I have not. Yay. Yay me. All right. So we're going to use a little bit of blue on this. I think I'm going to cut um, maybe an oval. Or a circle. I have my circle out. We'll do a circle. Circle, shall we? Uh, you pick this. I like this one because this is the perfect shape for a four by six if you want to cut a circle out of it. So it's the smallest of the circle patterns. I'm going to use my blue blade because I'm not cutting the photo. I'm cutting the mat for the photo. So when I go to cut my photo, I will um, use the same template with the red blade and that way it'll be the perfect size. We're not going to do that now. But I just wanted to let you know that this is a genius tool that's called the cutting custom cutting system. And there are all kinds of videos out there on how to use it. You don't have to be afraid that you don't know how to use it. And we'll put this one up here. 
And I feel like um, I need a little bit of white. Let's see if I have some white here. Yeah. I'm going to cut maybe a, um, about like a, maybe a four by four, maybe four and a quarter by four and a quarter. I'm going to do that twice. And that way I'll have it for the other side as well. I have space for it. If not, I'll probably just go with what I have left over. <laughs> it's a little different in size. But I think it's still good. I'd actually put this one here. Oh, yeah. I like that. Um, where is my tape? Super pretty. Could even do it like this to maximize the, the amount of space that this left over i like i like doing little um overlap you see a little overlap there a little overlap there a little overlap there it makes it pop gives it some dimension and then boy i think this is pretty all right so now we're gonna decide what are we gonna decide I might do the same thing i think i'm gonna do a vertical All right, and if this is going to be my journal box, I didn't cut that right in the middle, so I'm just going to cut a little bit off of the edge to make it look better. Uh, all right, um, since I'm doing a journal box, I either can put lines on there if you care, or you can um, perforate it. Um, I'm probably going to, you know what? I perforate all the time. How about if I... Don't do that today and, and use the trimmer to put lines on it. I haven't done that in a while for you. So you're going to pick the color that you want. What color do I want? I'm going to go with the blue. All right. And what you want to do is make sure that the edge is on a line. The edge of your mat is on a line so that your first line is straight. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and put it, I'm, I'm, I'm bearing down on using this as a ruler, okay? And then I'm going to slide it two blocks. If you write really small, then you can go just one block. I like to do two blocks. Use the same one. The nice thing is, is you've got a window here. You know exactly where you are. Uh, drawing so it's going to be nice and straight two yeah some of our journal boxes have lines on them some of them don't um it gives you an option for how you want to use them sometimes i use these little small ones or a place for my stickers and embellishment groupings. But if I'm going to use a drawing a box, I like lines. So um, if I had changed it to a, um, a scoring or perforating blade, then it would be enough for me to see the lines, but not for everybody else to see the lines. With the lines there, it gives a different look, kind of a, a decorative look, right? All right? So I'm going to do basically the same thing as I did on the other side. doing some layering. All right. And now um, we could put a title, like a title would look really nice down towards the bottom if you had a title you wanted to put on it. Or you could do some groupings. Um, I'll go ahead and grab our stickers. Um, this this uh, has a, a beautiful pack of stickers that comes with it. And um, each of the stickers lines are designed to look beautiful with your page. So I think I am going to break out. What do I want to do? I don't want to do hearts because I feel like I've got all kinds of hearts already on it. I think I'm going to do flowers. And I think I'm going to put them maybe down here.
Maybe grab some foam pads. By the way, we have a new little organ organizer thing too that just came out. I had some of my clients say, oh, can't wait to, to get the, to organize with. So you should check that out. It's, it's also colored. So I can't show you it because mine is not in yet. I do know that when I showed them to my clients, they were super crazy excited. So I want to take a peek at that. And then we also have on the same row, we have these little leaf guys that are paired with that, which is going to pair nicely because of the green accent. So just like that, got a beautiful little embellishment grouping on our page. And we are done. Okay. One other thing I want to show you before I forget at my beginner class the other day, we were kind of goofing around and I love those of you that watch me know, I love to do border maker cartridge combinations and not all combinations will work. So I always warn people that if you're going to do a, a, a combination that it is wise <laughs> that you try it first on a scrap to see if it will ever even work. But for those of you that uh, may be interested in um, doing a beach page today, um, you can use the same layout that I just taught. Um, you can add a border like I see you. Oh, by the way, I wanted to also show you before I get into that. Um, I did this uh, another time this morning. I didn't finish the page. This was my test page. But this I, I made similarly to the one that you just saw with um this was i believe this came out of super duper boy uh we have packs called super duper boy and super duper girl which are just super fun for for kids um anyways this is my my, my sample um and uh, this one i wanted to show you all the versatility that you could turn it all kinds of different ways to get all kinds of different looks okay so i wanted you to be aware of those different looks and how super cool they are, huh? All right, so I wanted to show you that. Now, and we'll get back to what I was gonna show you with this border maker. All right, so what I am going to do, oh, and again, sorry, I keep losing my train of thought. So let's say you were gonna do a beach page with this look right here. You could do this border that I'm getting ready to show you. You could do the border to run through here. You could do the border to run down here, okay? I should have thought about that and used the proper colors. Is it too late? It's not too late. It's not too late. I'm going to grab a piece of black because I can quickly do that with my super crazy organized piece of paper. And I even know where my scraps are because I store my scraps in the front of each color. All right. Let's go ahead. And I'm going to start by in the, I think I'm, I think I'm going to do every other one. So I'm going to do the second and the fourth and the last with this. This is a uh, C star, C star. And then we're going to do it again with um, Sutter Love, I think is what this one is called. So now you can see to put this this combination right across there probably will look better down here though so the black on black is that super cute then you could you could add color like if you wanted a pop of red which would look really nice on this wouldn't it I'm gonna mess my camera up
Hmm. All right. Um. So I would need three hearts. So I'm not, quite frankly, I'm just smashing, not even trying pulling out the border. I'm just using it as a punch because I'm not trying to make a border now. I'm trying to get some hearts. Um, it's going to pair so nicely with this red up here. If I wanted to use the red hearts. So I'm going to go in here and just trim these little hearts out. I'm going to throw some adhesive on top. And then put that right on top. Give a multicolored border. You could do the same thing with the starfish to get a multicolored starfish too. All right, do you like it? All right, now I'm done. So I appreciate you watching. Um, I know you all are busy, so I appreciate you taking out your time to, to get a tip. I hope these tips help you just wrap up a little faster this week to get a page done. Um, I, I encourage you. Um, I had somebody last week said I was so inspired by your Christmas festive fab. I feel like I, you know, want to work now, and it always makes me happy that if I can inspire you to get something done. If you are looking for an advisor to shop with, I would really love your support. Um, I am Becky Belot, B E C K I E B E L O T E. Um, so you can search for me when you go to creativememories.com. Um, I know if you already have an advisor, they would really love your order. So please don't use me if you already have a have a, have an advisor. Please pick an advisor. Please pick one of us because we love what we do. We love helping people, and um, we would love your your support. So thank you for doing that, and thanks for shopping, and have an amazing day.